Hi. Thank you for joining me, Spiritual Seeker. It is so greatly appreciated. I hope you guys are having a great day. I have another message for you. This message is about obedience versus free will. Again, obedience versus free will. Okay. Obedience is hard sometimes because being obedient isn't always doing something that you want to do. Sometimes you may not understand what God has commanded you to do. It might be something that is out of your comfort zone, which a lot of the times it is. A lot of the times it is. Not always, but quite often. So it could be something that is out of your comfort zone or something that you may think or consider as humiliating and or humbling. You may be required to discuss a topic that you may consider embarrassing or have to say or do things that you might think other people will think that you're crazy <laughs> when you're just trying to be obedient and get the word out and spread the message as you were commanded to do. So you may be worried about what others think. You may be worried about others saying that you're crazy. You've lost it, you know. Um, some may be worried about family members like trying to get them checked out and committed, literally, because it has happened. God may want you to discuss a topic that you are not as comfortable discussing. But to those who are obedient and move swiftly on the command of God and or Jesus Christ are loved and favored. It makes God so very proud of those who listen and are obedient when told to do so, even when it is not easy to do or of our understanding. Because we're not going to always understand the things that God asks us to do or the reasonings behind it or why he chose and asked us to do it. <laughs> okay. So God loves faith, but he also expects works and actions. So when you're obedient, it's like you're doing your works. You're not just um, going by faith. You're actually being obedient and doing your works and applying that action. You can choose to use your free will because God gave us all free will. It's not easy to be obedient, especially when we are first starting and learning our walk with the Lord. And even those who have been on a walk with the Lord for years or their whole life or, you know what I mean? It's not easy. But sometimes you got to do things that you don't want to do or that aren't easy, that are hard, you know? Um, okay. It is easier to go back to our old ways and to go back to doing the things that we have become comfortable with. We're used to those things, you know. But what favor or gains do we have in that with God? So yeah, you can use your free will. You know, if God gave us all free will. But if you want to be favored and... Seen as obedient and the eyes of the Lord, you have to follow his commands. Trust me, I know. I tried to run from him. I really did. I didn't think it was true, the things he was asking and expecting of me. I didn't understand the command. I was trying to figure out the assignment. Took me a minute. Took me a minute, but I'm here now. Better late than never, right? So yeah, you can use your free will, but what favor or gains will you get from God out of it? Will you please God by not obeying his commands? No. God knows that it is hard to come out of our comfort zone. God also said that he does not test us. He told me he does not test us. He may allow the enemy to test us, but he does not test us. He already knows what we're going to do and what we're not going to do. Our lives are basically predetermined. <laughs> So he knows our hearts already. He knows when and what we will do. Being obedient to God's commands, rules, judgments, and instructions are not always the easiest things to do. They can come with a burden. You may be worried or fear how others will judge you, 
but it doesn't matter what others think about you or how others may judge you because, you know, you may be worried about what others might say and think about you, but you shouldn't fear, worry, or care what others might say or think about you. You should only worry about what God and Jesus Christ will say and think about you because that's all and who that's all that and who will matter in the end who is going to judge you who judges you on on judgment day not these people it sure won't be these people that you might never ever meet and or see again it will be god and or jesus christ who judges us all by our works so please don't be disobedient. Please do your best to follow all God's judgments, rules, and commandments. Pray, read your Bible, and repent, please, and keep your faith, and keep your faith, and do the works, okay? So please pray, read your Bible, and repent, and do your works. Do good. Just go out there and spread joy. It's not always about giving money. Sometimes you can give time. Your time is priceless. Your time is priceless. Sometimes you can just give a smile, um, give a, lit, a ear for someone to talk to, and that can help. You may be able to give them just someone who actually is going to give them kind words or just listen. You know, there's lots of ways to help others. You can feed the homeless. You can pass out food to the homeless water and food on the streets. You can give blankets to the homeless. Um, sometimes just your time. It doesn't always have to be money. If you have money and you're able to give, of course, you know, and you're willing, able and willing from your heart, please do, obviously. But please keep your faith and do the works. God loves action. <laughs> yes, he does. God loves action. He loves works. And he loves us to be obedient, especially when he has commanded and chosen you to do something. So, of course, like I said, you could use your free will, but remember in the end, when it's judgment day, do you want to hear those words? I knew you not. Flee from me. You know? Um, I don't know if those are the exact words, but that just came in my head right away for whatever reason. Um, I know he says something to that matter, and I don't want to hear those words. And I sure don't want that for any of you. So thank you so much for joining me, Spiritual Seeker. It is so greatly appreciated. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing is totally free for you and so greatly appreciated by me. Liking is also free. Giving me that thumbs up is also free and is so greatly appreciated so we can get these messages out for others to hear. Prayers and blessings to all. Bye.